Hello everyone, welcome to today's Sky Racing Wednesday news and it's becoming a regular part of our uh, news and that's the weather and the forecast is still there for a lot of rain to fall around Sydney uh, tonight and tomorrow. Michael Wood, the track manager at Ramwick, is saying right now the Ramwick track for Saturday is on the better side of a heavy eight but there's up to 30 mil of rain forecast as I say tonight and tomorrow so a bit to play out there. Uh, the Apollo stakes a lot of interest with Elise Barrier one in this field. Will uh, uh, James Cummings want to run in the race if the track comes up, say, as a heavy 10? A bit to play out. Dream Force has come up with six, and the Clappers back certainly will run whatever the track condition from barrier number four. The race for mine on Saturday, though, at Ramwick is going to be for the light fingers, for the three-year-old fillies coming back to racing. And one of those is the Blue Diamond winner from last year in Liar. Now, we haven't seen the horse perform at its best best probably since uh, the autumn of last year when it won the Blue Diamond and ran bravely on a rain-affected track in the Golden Slipper. The horse has certainly come back a better two-year-old, looks far better in uh, its coat, according to the Anthony Friedman stable. It's come up uh, with barrier three in a field of 11 on Saturday, and I know talking with the Friedman stable, they're a lot more confident that we're going to see the best of liar, this preparation, going back uh, disappointingly in the spring. Libertini's come up with barrier 11 but uh, will run in Sydney hasn't been an acceptor in Melbourne and Flitz come up with the inside draw barrier one in that race on Saturday ticket to ride for Richard and Michael Friedman has come up with barrier seven in a monster lineup as expected in the Lonro plate on Saturday and there look they're chasing some prize money they're hopeful of making the slipper yeah, I think she's a pretty talented filly, um, but she's going to have to earn her way in now because, you know, we're getting sort of down to the to the pointy end. So see how she goes Saturday and then, you know, she'd be looking at a sweet embrace or a, or a Riesling. And, you know, I guess in reality, she's probably going to have to be able to win one of those to to not only qualify for the race, but also to suggest that she's up there. But, um, yeah, um, if we can get her there, great. But we've got lots of other options as well. Michael Friedman there, and the horse ran third to rulership uh, last time around. As I say, has come up with barrier seven. Dane, Dane Gazelle, right, right there in Golden Slipper Markets, has come up with barrier 14. And Mission Rivers, uh, drawn really positively for Gerald Ryan in barrier three. In the Lonro Plate, coming up on Saturday at Ramwick. Well, Jungle Edge, any sign of wet weather? And the jungle's back in town, lining up on Saturday in the Southern Cross Stakes. And talking with Mick Bell, this morning off this win at Caulfield uh, on a rain affected track gets to the lead with the blinkers on the last hundred he said we've got to come the rain affected track brings a great positive for us it's come up with barrier six in a field of eight and it's uh, trained on extremely well and with the uh, forecast of the rain that's a real big uh, positive as well Lanciado Cascadian Lanciado in doubt if the track is heavy come Saturday well the country championship qualifiers start on Saturday we'll talk more about that in a tick but Saturday week we could now see the inform Mayor in Newsgirl lining up in the race for Corowa trainer Jeff Duray. Uh, the horse uh, has gone up seven points in ratings off its placing last Saturday at Caulfield and that will probably assist the horse going to Corowa. Jeff Duray saying that uh, this is probably a horse that um, can't go up that quickly in ratings in a city race in Melbourne. So he's now saying that Newsgirl will be nominated 100% for the Albury qualifier. He'll give serious consideration once that uh, makeup of the nominations come out. And right now, he's a 15, or she is a $15 chance in the pre-non-market Newsgirl to win the final at Ramwick on, uh, in early April. So very much looking forward to seeing Newsgirl, hopefully at Albury on Saturday week. Coffs Harbour, they staged the first qualifying race on the weekend. They got 65 mil of rain overnight, but the forecast for Friday and Saturday is very encouraging. Lots of other news on our social media pages.